to a new public plea tonight from authorities in Chicago to break the code of silence after a horrific weekend in Chicago, more than a dozen dead and so many more injured. ABC's Alex Perez, who's covered the violence in Chicago for us for years now. In Chicago, 17-year-old Janae Patterson's mother grieving. Her daughter, one of 14 people killed by gun violence this weekend in the Windy City. This violence got to stop. 54 others injured by gunfire this weekend. One of the city's trauma centers is so overwhelmed it was placed on lockdown. The city's top cop frustrated, saying police alone can't eliminate the community code of silence. Where's the accountability? I never hear people saying these individuals out here in the streets need to stop pulling the trigger. We've followed Chicago's struggle against gun violence for years on World News. The city working to seize illegal guns, flooding high crime areas, and using high tech tools to predict shootings. But today, the city's mayor pleading with residents. If you know who did this, be a, na be a neighbor. Speak up. We have a heavy heart. Our souls are burned. What happened this weekend did not happen in every neighborhood in Chicago, but it is unacceptable to happen in any neighborhood of Chicago. But David, even with this surge in tragic violence this weekend, the mayor and police superintendent say shootings so far this year are down compared to last year. David? Alex Perez from Chicago. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.